Hello guys, welcome to Texas Mosmatenia Lovers. So this video is going to be a little different than what we usually do. There's a movement going on due to the pandemic and the travel restrictions. Uh, one of them is the worldwide one, hashtag love is not tourism. And the one that I'm more involved in, of course, is hashtag love is not tourism Philippines, which is also a Facebook page. So there's some upgoing uh, resistance to some of these travel restrictions. So many couples that are not married right now that are just uh, planning to marry or have, have not met yet or have met many times like me and my honey. And we're restricted from travel because the government's afraid, of course, over there in the Philippines of the spread of the pandemic. And we understand that we respect the laws of the different countries around the world, but we're also, none of us are babies in this pandemic. We know what to do and how to handle things, wearing masks, social distancing, keeping ourselves clean. You know, no, there's nothing new in this pandemic. So what we are appealing to, to the government of the Philippines, and I'm formally appealing to ease the travel restrictions, let the fiancés and the partners into the Philippines, uh, and we will agree to all the res restrictions we have learned that they've opened up outbound travel restrictions. Filipinas can go to different countries. But for most of us foreigners, contrary to popular belief, we're not rich. It's hard to buy double tickets. Only three or four countries around the world right now are accepting people from the Philippines. And it is very expensive. So again, we're just appealing to the government of the Philippines to reconsider their decision, open up travel on a limited basis if necessary, and adhering to all coronavirus testing protocols, test before coming, uh, test upon arrival if we have to, go in a couple days quarantine until the test results are done, and then adh adhere to all protocols within the country as far as social distancing, travel limitations, and whatever. But please, Philippines, let us in. I have been separated from my honey since uh, last year. It's going on 11 months, and uh, I'd really like to see her again. So what we're going to do here after this is we're going to show all six times me and my honey meeting, starting in November of 2016, and then the subsequent trips after that. I'm just going to show some short clips and videos of uh, the couple that is being hurt by these travel limitations. And it's just kind of a uh, walk down memory lane. So let's get to the videos, guys, and uh, go ahead and enjoy. almost at the top and I'm being videotaped almost at the top 
and I'm being videotaped. This is a video of me here at the museum here in Baguio. Ah, look who's back there. It's JJ. Wapa. The museum looks better now. <laughs> You can see the hotels up there in the mountain. This is the video on top of the observation deck, the Tal Volcano, Taite, Philippines. This is the main volcano with the active hot spring. Still active and cooking. Hi. And this is just some mountains. Other tourists are here. Shops and people that work here. Philippines is the best country. Well, it's the most beautiful place I've seen. And there's some rain Thank coming in. Thank you, bringing me here. You're welcome. And we'll get some rain later. Getting a little closer to the island. There's some bigger mountains over there far away. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. It brought back memories for me. And uh, you can see how much we love each other. How many times I'm there, six times, spent uh, many thousands of dollars. But it was worth every cent of it. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mosmatinia Texas Lovers. Uh, remember to hit like on this video and the reminder bell so you will be notified every time we upload a video. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you later.